Hello everybody, this is Con. I'm at the Michelin Off-Road Days event uh, in Sepang. And what's the occasion here? So today we are going to try out the Michelin LTX Force uh, SUV tire in a, in a series of uh, on and off-road tests. So we are in a Hilux 2.4 uh, in the... Right, right, yep. just flow. Okay. Cool. So, so this Hilux 2.4 is fitted with Bridgestone AT001 all-terrain tires, okay, which is which we are using as a comparison against the Michelin LTX Force. What are we testing now? Noise we're, test tire. We're, we're doing noise tests and we are doing braking test. Exactly. So you have equipment on board to measure the noise level. Right? Yes, all the noise is here. For the uh, braking is the uh, V-Box. Okay, okay. So what happens is that you drive in between the uh, cones, mm -hmm. maintain it to 40. 40? That's here, how okay. it sounds like. Alright, alright. Okay, so I'm going past the cones at 40. Okay, 40, I'm going to release. Tuck, 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 tuck. So I can hear the sound of the plank down there go tuck, 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 tuck. Alright. The section will be braking. Okay. So what's going what's to happen then? On, in, you stop in between the uh, cones, mm -hmm. and then when I say go, mm -hmm. you just floor the car. Floor the car. Don't look at the uh, speedo because it's not what we want because this V-Box here yep. will, will actually buzz at 80 km. So when I hear this V-Box buzz B, yeah, slam the brakes. Yeah. So okay. we, we don't want you to look at the speedo because it will distract you. Do I need to? Do I need full throttle to hit full, it? All the way. Full, full throttle. Yeah. Ah. And when you are driving, I will tell you probably like 50, 60, 70 km to Okay, really, really. So just let them uh, clear first then of course. will launch. Of course. And you're on power mode also as well. Oh, okay, so okay. Much faster. Okay, ready? Hot and go. All right, all right. Full throttle. Go, ah? Uh? Yeah, full. Full and throttle. Go. Okay, you are now on 50. You're on 60. 70. Step by. Okay, competitor. Braking at 29.6, 29.6 meters over. 29.6. So do I. Okay, I'll just park back at the same place. Okay. So I achieved a braking distance of 29.6 meters from 80 to, to 10 kilometers yeah. per hour. Okay, so, so. Stand still. To stand still. Yeah, you stop just now. Okay, because I thought they say mentioned to 10. Okay, yeah, so yeah. 29.6 from 80 kilometers per hour to stand still. Okay, so I'm going to adjourn over to the next car to try the Michelin, the Michelin LTX Force. Alright, let's go. New car, new tyres, new instructor next to me. <laughs> but the, the spec of this car is the same as the previous one that I drove. Hilux 2.4 automatic, but this one is fitted with uh, Michelin LTX tyres. Uh, highway, uh, sorry, all-terrain tyres. Okay, um, okay wait, immediately right now as I am driving off, immediately I sort of sense the noise level seems to be slightly lower uh, than the Bridgestones earlier. But we'll run over the that plank test and you know really compare. Lah. So just roll over at 40 clicks. Ah. Alright. Okay. Let's do it at 40. Just before you reach the planks, you ease off the gas. Yeah. Let the car roll across. Yes. Okay, so ease off the gas. I'm at 40. Okay, my ears are not good enough to tell me the difference over that, but uh, rolling over this uh, all the you know all this tarmac here right there seem to be slightly lower lower ambient noise levels than the bridge tone ambient okay. noise levels are actually very hard to determine because we are at such a slow speed yeah but over the noise test the bumpiness is actually much less oh yeah that's correct that's correct yeah so go okay anytime you're ready just give a horn and go do okay. the exact same thing Okay, so now I know really need full throttle to hit 80. Yes. There. Yeah, okay. Full throttle, and when you hear the buzzer or myself saying braking, you jam on the brake until it stops. Okay. Ready. Anytime. Go. I do? You got 28.3 uh, meters. 28.3 meters. So previously I got 29.6. That is a reduction of 
Wait, my maths failed me a bit for 1.3 meters. So 1.3 meters, right? Reduction of your braking distance is the difference between stopping in time and mowing somebody down. So that say that can potentially save a life. Okay, so that concludes this okay. part of the test. Thank you very much. Thank you. Moving on to the next exercise. All right. Bye bye. All right, so here I am in yet another Hilux 2.4 automatic. This one also fitted with the Michelin LTX tires, and we are going to do a slalom. That's right, guys. Slalom in a Hilux. Yeah, good to go. Pray for my safety. So in front there, Kung Fu is moving off in. Yeah. In so you you just wait for a while. Yep. Yeah, okay. So in front, Kung Fu is moving off in uh, in a Hilux that's fitted with also a Bridgestone. Bridgestone Dweller. Bridgestone Dweller. Okay. So you maintain your speed at 45 to 50 km. 45 to 50 km yeah. per hour. Okay. Right. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. Okay. Okay. Are they like taking time? Are they like measuring the time of our run? No. Really. No lah. Okay. When you're ready, you can go. Okay. Go ah. Yeah. I want to take your speed. Okay, speed is good. Maintain your speed. Yeah. Ooh, fuck. This is... Yeah, sorry. This is scary, man. <laughs> so, roundabout. Yeah, roundabout. Make a U-turn. Oh. <laughs> if you think it's too fast, you can slow down a bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay the, can tell uh, the, the, the tire is gripping the surface well, but... Whoa, this thing. This thing fucking rolls, man. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this exercise for anybody of the faint hearted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can make a U turn. Okay. And go for another round. Alright. Okay, round two. Yeah, when you're ready, so, you can go. So I'll just go near. Yes. Okay. Maintain your speed. Round two, maintain speed. I'm holding at 40 kilometers per hour. Uh, I'm in 45. 45. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, speed is good. Okay, so now that I'm a bit more used to the truck, got a bit more confidence. Now this run, uh, I'm just holding my feet steady on the throttle, maintaining light throttle input. Okay, and go. Try to go faster a bit. You are now in 40. Okay. Okay, you are now in 50. Okay, speed is good. 50. Yeah. Okay, la, this round, because maybe because I'm more familiar really, the run is a bit yeah, better. Yeah. Yeah. We relax, yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's it. You can stop behind the car. Adjourning to the Bridgestone fitted Hilux. Okay, so now in the Hilux 2.4 with the uh, Bridgestone Duellers. Alright. Yep. So we'll do is, um, you have two rounds. Yep. Two runs going around. So we'll do the first one, I'll tell you where to go left, right, yep. left, right. And then from there on, um, you'll understand the layout and come around and go for a second round. Just okay. keep your average between 45 and 50. Okay. But smooth driving, don't yep. overdrive the car. Yeah. Feel the tires and then you can compare with the Mitch. Yeah, okay. okay. So we're right. ready, we can go. Let's go. Thanks. So I'm holding at 40. I've got left here. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. It gets a bit tighter here as well. Yeah. Right. Left. Right. That's great. Then around yeah. the cones. Okay, pushing a little wide. Yeah. And then the same way back. Okay, I can feel the car a bit under steering. Yeah. Right. Right. You'll definitely feel a difference between the two tires. Yeah. And whenever you're ready, we can go okay, for a second. Let's round. go. Yeah. Yeah, this one can feel the mechanical grip is a little bit less yeah it washes wide it has a greater tendency to wash wide yeah it's it understeers yeah and actually for a pickup truck right because of its weight right it is very easy to understeer yeah. on tarmac but if you because it's a pickup so uh, the weight the weight lies like, the weight but the tires well we're here to talk about the tires yeah. not the car so we'll yeah, but you definitely the, see a comparison yeah. between both cars are the same. Yeah, no. the it's just, uh, yeah, copy that. 
So we'll just wait uh, side here. Just yep. keep it going straight. Yeah. And then you'll swap uh, with the Mitch. Oh, I've already driven the Mitch actually. Oh yeah, you yeah, have yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you feel uh, compared with the two? Well, the first run was a bit um, was a bit scary because I've never done a slalom in a pickup okay. before. But the second run, I was uh, a bit more familiar, so yeah. can steer with a bit more confidence. And did you feel what 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 your outtake? What do you feel? Uh, I feel I can definitely tell uh, the tires is gripping the yeah. the, the road and the sound well. as well. Mm, yeah, this the, the, this tire is very quiet. Yeah, very quiet compared to this. Yeah. Okay, All right. Great. Thank you very Thank much. much. Thank you. Okay, so we are journeying to the next exercise. Roger that. Thank you, Con. Hey, Jung, is that you? Uh? Yeah, it's me. Okay, la, following you. That was Jung, the famous drifter up ahead. So right now, I'm driving a Fortune. May I know is Dinesh in car number 4 or 5? This is Dinesh. Uh, I'm in car 5 with Con. Hi, Dinesh. <laughs> They're a friendly bunch. <laughs> Hi, Johan. <laughs> Car 5 got a lot of love. Come la, join us. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're here. Yeah. We that's, that's, the, that's the go kart track right there. Hey, this one, what's the tie in this one? A Bridgestone. This is the BF Goodrich. BF Goodrich uh, yeah. K02. K02. So, BF Goodrich is also a brand okay, under. Okay, Car 5, you're going to follow car number. Two, which is in front, yeah, of me. Okay, go to the mud ruts. So I keep left, ah. Huh? Right. So the BF Goodrich K02 is one of the better all-terrain tires out there. This is supposed to be an even tougher tire than the LTX Force. So the objective of this exercise actually is to show that um, even though this K02 is tougher, the LTX Force is not far behind. So going in the LTX in the K02 Lanjanoni. Going for a K02 car number five. Just a second, just wait there. Eh? Okay, so wait here. Ah. Uh, you pass through all the obstacles, then you can go. Ah, uh, what do you say? Once the car clear, then you can go. Okay, you may go. So you got space to move up. In Roger case. that. <coughs> Smooth and steady, so try to drive as smooth as possible. Oh. So what we want you to do here is actually to feel the performance of the tyre, the traction of the tyre. Do not need to activate the traction control or whatever. Okay, that was very easy. So KO2 tyres is a more aggressive type of tyres, but it's still an all-terrain tyre. More solid, more thicker uh, side walls. Yeah, I can imagine. Like a block on the shoulder design. Lock track. Lock and the oh. traction and stability in any condition. Oh, this one 35 degree downhill. This kind of ex this exercise really need good tires. See from this angle, you can't even see the slope down. It's 35 degrees down. It's Okay, number 5 ready and go! It's okay, not... Okay, this one is with the KO2, the Bridgestone, and the VF Goodrich. Okay. okay, I finally can see my turn. Oh! Going down and make a turn. Okay. Accelerate now. Feed the grip, the traction of the tire. There was, this is loose sand. Ah, uh, this one's a new money for this, this tire. Okay, going up further. Going up, going up, halfway and... Yep, oh, this okay. one, this one is like the hill starts <laughs> test <laughs> in when you learn how to drive. Yeah, okay. And go now, slowly. Just feed the grip of the tire. Yep. Because after this, you need to compare with the LTX here. Yeah? Okay, your next obstacle is the side slope. So my uh, colleague is on the top of the hill. Uh, the building, uh, working. Wow, Jerry Talawa. Super sexy. Can you see me? Okay. Okay. Uh, the side mirror on your right, closer to the yellow pole. Don't hit the yellow pole, or you will owe me five ringgit per pole. Yeah. <laughs> Dinesh will have to pay me. Yeah, yeah, Dinesh. Okay. So, KO2 tires, they're having here. Uh, ah, that was too well, easy. It's aggressive tires, but yeah, it's still an all-terrain tires. All right, mud climb. You can come up the mud climb here. Excellent. 
Alright, so on the other side of the hill here we have two grooves cut out of the ground, simulate like a drain. I said to get to the bottom there, just drop your wheels in one by one. Yep. And you use the KO2 traction to help you to come back up out of the grooves, okay? Go yep. for it. So the two drains are running across the road. Okay, just slow down with the brakes. Yep, slow it right down. Okay, good. And then drop the wheels in. Drop one wheel in. One wheel in. Okay. Excellent. Wheel in. Oh, what the... <laughs> okay. Very good. Turn five, come to the rookie path. Okay. Right, just go through this slowly. No brakes, no throttle. Just feel how the tire, how the force takes the of a tire there. Right, just to be steering, yeah. Alright. Slowly. Slowly. So we can actually feel the steering hook with the rock down, yeah. Vortex doesn't tire. You can see the kickback of the steering. Woo! <laughs> the steering is like got a life of its own, man. Ah. Okay, car number one. You may go into the mud. Okay. So now we have just moved over to another Fortuner. So you are now on Michelin LTS Force all terrain tires. Running on Try to the differentiate the, the level of grip yeah, in between the two tires. See how far off it is. Actually, they are not far off. Yeah. Okay, let's find out. Not far off, right? Let's find out. So the LTX Force is definitely superior on the road versus the uh, KO2. But. So you may feel a little bit more slip when coming up to muddy situations, yeah. But nevertheless, the tires will bring you through the obstacle, yeah. Yep, that's right. A bit more slip, but not much. Yeah, this one can feel a bit more slip mm. going up. This. So just now, the earlier run and this run, we are all running the cars on uh, 4L transmission in D and. Uh, traction control off so all whatever all this right is really the work of the tires and the car and the driver and the driver slow and steady these tires will be a bit more comfortable i guess so but it's still bouncing inside yep a bit more comfy. Well, comfortable <clears throat> oh my back hurts so the tires that are using now is rtx force here so going down this and slope. This, uh, the X Force itself, uh, the compound was derived from a road rally here. Alright, you're good to go. The bus. Well, <laughs> okay, that was a bit more exciting. Sand pit. Yeah, we feel that you feel more comfy and more bouncing a bit because of the sidewall and not that hard at uh, the KO2 key up. Go. Can go up now. Yeah, a bit more slip. Okay, this will be a good test of the tyre. Stop. Key up and go. You can feel a bit of uh, speed in the air, a bit lag. Yeah, it was definitely much easier on the, on the BFGs. But correct but also lah, not by much. It doesn't seem to be struggling that much. So. No, not not by much, not by much. So if we talk about balance, right? Definitely, this is a far more balanced tire. Even though the BFG is the better off-road tire. LTX Force. So what you have here is a uh, extended sidewall and a 1.4 mm tread deeper. Okay. And you know, you can lean on your friend, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So all the track deeper it gives you more traction. Up and down, easy. Do not do trouble that hard and so good to go. Okay, car number one, you can head on down. Don't forget the ruts at the bottom there. Yeah. The ruts in the Michelin you'll find that it's actually still fine as you go through. Maybe it's slightly less Absorbent as you go in, but you yeah. have plenty of gravity getting through. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> so, number one, now we are going through the rocky path. Yeah, slow and steady, no throttles, no brakes, just let it roll through. Roll. Feel how the 
how the rocks exert the force on the tire on the steering. There seems to be less kickback on the steering then. <coughs> yeah, I think the tire is absorbing more. Yeah. Yeah. Because the tire, this tire is a softer tire. But I think if you want to go really tough off-road situation, right? The BFGs are the ones to go for. Right? So let's take a closer look at the LTX Force tread patterns. Okay, so this is the LTX Force's tread patterns. Now, a notable feature of the LTX Force tread pattern, as you notice, you see these little little things here. Okay, this is what they call what Michelin calls compact tread technology. So what happens is that when when you brake, okay, when you apply hard braking, right, the tread patterns will tend to default. But these these little micro blocks here, they lock the tread pattern together to prevent to push. As they push the tread pattern against each other, it prevents them from deforming. Thereby, it ensures that a bigger portion of this uh, contact patch remains uh, in contact with the road surface, and hence, uh, you know, ensure that you maintain traction for that much longer. So, according to Michelin, the side wall is also made. Uh, tougher to be more resistant uh, towards stone chipping and other other deformations like okay? and also notice that the uh, the shoulders of these tires are very aggressive okay almost like that of a uh, mountain terrain tire okay? it's very aggressive so this enhances the uh, LTX forces uh, off-road performance now for reference let's look at two other tires this is the road bias uh, primacy SUV. This would be the kind of tires you use for, you know, cars like the SUVs like maybe a Honda CRV or BMW X3 or Audi Q5. The kind of you know very passenger type of SUV. Okay, versus that, this LTX Force you'll be using for vehicles like the Hilux and the Fortuner. Okay, so uh, let's look at how, see this little graph here shows how Michelin positions its tyres relative to each other. So this is where the LTX Force stands. Uh, so this is for off-road, this is for on-road. And the Primacy SUV tyre that we saw earlier belongs in this side of the graph. Whereas, if you see there, the BF Goodrich uh, KO2 tyres would belong somewhere here in the overall position. So let's take a closer look at the BF Goodrich tyre. So the LTX Force is classified as an all-terrain tyre, uh, but so is the KO2. Okay? But this is a more aggressive uh, all-terrain tyre. As you see, the, block, the, the blocks are chunkier and, 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 and look all rougher. So uh, definitely, if you, are taking, if you are taking your vehicle for more serious off-roading, uh, the, the KO2 is definitely the one that you want to go. But, uh, if you're looking for a balance of abilities, okay, for good on-road comfort, okay, uh, plus a tyre that you can depend on for the occasion that you go off-road, the LTX Force is a very, very well-balanced tyre in terms of its ability, at least uh, as experienced in the tests that we, that we uh, experienced today. Lah. Okay, so that concludes our video of the uh, Michelin LTX Force and yep so until my next video thanks for watching bye for now